guys, my name's Doug with obdgenie.com. Today we're in the 2015 Mustang. This looks familiar to a lot of you, the eight inch My Ford touch screen. The upper right hand quadrant says information. Now a lot of the Mustangs have navigation, the factory navigation. Today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to upgrade from your traditional My Ford touch with the information quadrant and to change that to navigation, the factory navigation. You order the kit from obdgenie.com and includes a couple USB drives, uh, a Genie programmer that plugs into your OBD2 port, and then a sync update card. All right, now what we're gonna wanna do is make sure the car is running throughout the whole process. Um, park it out in a driveway. Don't, don't stay in your garage, obviously. Don't park over grass. Um, and then you're gonna wanna perform these updates. The very first one is uh, your stick number one and this will be your latest sync update. We'll go ahead and insert it into the USB drive. Please keep your vehicle running, not excessive remote, throughout the entire installation. If you choose to upgrade your vehicle while idling in your driveway, make sure your vehicle is not Congratulations, you have successfully updated your sync software to Gen 2 version 3.8. Please do not remove your USB device until after you press OK on the You're final You're going to want to press OK. As soon as it says installation complete and you press OK, you can then remove the USB 1 file. Now keep in mind some of the Ford and Lincoln vehicles in the speedometer cluster, it'll prompt you to ask you if you would like to shut the engine off because it's been idling. You're going to want to override that feature to allow this system to do its full update without the car turning off. Um, so now we'll hit OK. Now we can remove the number one. Now let's install the number two file. Okay, you'll notice the home screen will reappear. Just allow this home screen to stay on for about 10 seconds. That'll let you know that the uh, update stick number two is done. You would notice whenever you ran update stick number two, it shut down two times. And now that it's back at the home screen, it's been on for a little bit, we know that stick number two is done. So we'll go ahead and remove that. The third step is to plug in our patented OBD Genie Nav Programmer. That's gonna be plugged into the OBD2 port beneath your steering column. So we'll go ahead and proceed with that now. You'll notice once the light turns green, that means the programming is complete. You'll also notice your radio display will go dark and reboot.
You'll now notice after it has been rebooted, it says insert nav SD card. So all we have to do now is to remove our SD card and then insert it into the SD card slot within your armrest. You'll notice it says navigation now. Give it a minute to load the disk or the file. You now have full featured factory Ford navigation. It has all the traditional features that a nav system has through the destination. You can insert your home address, street address, points of interest, everything you need within the menu it gives you um, all the different tweaks that you can do to the system as far as your maps your routes all the different preferences you want here at obdgenie.com we also do a lot of cool other upgrades for the ford vehicles um, backup cameras we can do remote start Everything uh, you can see on our website, obdgenie.com. Thanks for watching, guys.